Good morning, it's Monday. It's currently 20 past eight and I'm off to work, dropping Mary and Patrick off. Um, well, actually, no, picking her friend up first. And then we're gonna drop them off and they're going to Norwich for the day and I'm going to work for the day. sunshine I like sunshine so all is good I don't know if you saw my final Top Gear review last night if not please go back have a look and please subscribe like and share thank you morning it's Tuesday off to work I'm donning the Dukes of Hazard this morning respect to the Duke of Hazard and his General Lee. It's amazing just how slow some people pull away from roundabouts. You know, they don't have to do a burnout, but just pull away. They must go into second at about uh, 1,200 revs. It's a bit dull out there this morning. There's no sun, it's just cloud grey, dirty clouds. So it amazes me, some of these taxis are really nice cars. A 62 plate BMW 520D. It's a taxi. I mean, to me, that's just ridiculous. Taxis traditionally, well, black cabs obviously, but also old Nissans and bags of crap. Now they're like luxury executive limousines. I should be having lasagna for lunch today with salad and then I uh, have my strawberry cheesecake yogurt and my raspberry yogurt on top of that and then my banana and my apple and my bourbon biscuits to dip in my tea. Do love a dipping bourbon. I have to say my t-shirt is unironed. I don't really iron anything anymore unless of course I'm going to a wedding or an interview or a meeting and I have to wear a suit and I shall iron the shirt. Other than that, I just don't bother. I used to iron everything. I used to spend. In my younger days, when I was 18, in my young wild days, I used to spend the evening standing in front of the TV ironing t-shirts. Now, it seems to be nobody does it anymore. Perhaps it's because uh, the way things are washed and then dried and hung up, they don't necessarily need ironing. And it's not so necessary anymore, I think, to iron t-shirts. I still meet people that do. Perhaps I should, perhaps it's just me being scruffy. But I just, I don't like ironing, I hate ironing. I can't think of anything more boring than ironing. Look, a Mark III Escort. Four 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 X. Great number plate. You can always tell the old cars, the older cars, because the seats were never high enough. So the headrests were never actually at head height. The back of the seat stopped sort of your neck, just so you can get proper whiplash. <laughs> it's crap design, it really is. This is why there were so many whiplash injuries and why so many people cottoned on to whiplash. In fact, his baby seat is pretty much higher than his own seat. That's tragic, isn't it? That really is tragic. It looks to be in decent nick, although it hasn't been cleaned for a long time. Well, it's not looking after it. Dirty git.
storm is coming. Hello. <laughs> you just see the camera poking around the corner. <laughs> you got your phone? Yeah? <laughs> what are you getting excited for? <coughs> oh, yeah. Cuddle. Cuddle. Mm. You lovely boy. Say morning. Good morning. Bridget. Here you have it. Okay. Say hello. Hello. Dada. No, you do it. You do it. Hello. Hello. Dada. Good morning. <laughs> da, 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 da. Dada. <laughs> Hello again. I don't hear you say zero. I think I did. Ta. Say one. Two. Two. Three. Okay, so you do it. Daddy has to have a shower. No, you do it. You do it. Say hello. No? Okay, I'll put it down there then. Bye bye. Hello? <laughs> it's for who? It's for Patrick? It's for you! Hello? You do it, say hello! So. Yes? Oh, oh, milk time now, is it? Okay, it's the end of that then. Oh, that's it. Playtime finished. Put the phone in the bed. Time for you to go with it. Come on. Oh. There's a good boy. Kissy. Oi, no. Kissy. Kissy, kissy. I want the kissy. No. There you go. Good morning. It's Wednesday, and you catch me this morning in not a very good mood. Last week, uh, or the week before, week before, um, I woke up to find a car parked right behind my gates, next to the sign that said, keep clear, and they're obviously big gates across the back of my driveway, and a van parked opposite my garage door. This was on a, um, on a, a day I had off. So I had to go outside and speak to them to get them to move it. So they moved it just out of the way. There's no reason why they should have parked there in the first place. Obviously, I cannot get my car out of the garage when there's a van parked opposite on the other side. It's a service road, not a bloody car park that services the back of the houses. So anyway, there's that. That was dealt with. Yesterday morning, I woke up, another works van, different company, parked opposite my half opposite my garage half opposite my driveway and as I reverse out of my driveway I need to back round I bought two signs on eBay big signs one on the garage door and one on the gates that say polite notice no parking keep access clear cannot get any clearer than that and what do they do? Park there. Bloody phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So annoyed. 
So this morning I get up and they're exactly in the same place. They weren't there last night, but they're again, they're there this morning. Honestly, these people must be so stupid to be able to park in such hideous places with absolutely no care for anybody else and absolutely no notice of you know where they're bloody parking really gets on my fucking nerves this morning i got out but i had to do a 10 point turn verse to get the car through so annoyed with these people one they shouldn't park there because there's an access road not a bloody car park and two they shouldn't park there because I've got two red notices that say no parking, keep access clear. I mean, who parks opposite a garage entrance anyway? Honestly, these people are stupid. That's why they're building grunts, maybe. I don't know. Certainly not philosophers. Certainly have no idea of common sense. There's no reason to park there. Oh. It's not even their parking anyway. Their parking is on the road outside the front of their house, not in a make-believe car park out the back, which really gets on my bloody nerves. I don't have time to go knocking on people's doors, walking all the way around the front, knocking on people's doors to say, move your stupid van because you shouldn't get well parked there, you fucking idiot. It's another hold-up I do not need in the mornings. It's just one of those things that the first time we think, oh well, I'll deal with it. Second time, okay, well, yeah, it's getting a bit annoying. And then the third time, it's like, are oh, these people idiots? Clearly they are. Anyway, I'm glad I got that out of my system now. That's it, don't indicate, well done. We'll just guess where you're going, you silly bitch. That annoys me too. People that do not indicate on roundabouts. Oh, okay, just pull out in front of me. Again, no indication. In a van! And now you're not even overtaking him! What are you doing? <laughs> Twat! Honestly, this morning I'm surrounded by nubbins! A van, a van, a builder's van! Sorry to all the builders out there, but they're not doing you any good this morning. A van! pulled out right in front of me to overtake a car that was sitting behind a lorry no indication and then he didn't overtake anything he just sat there on the outside lane when he pulled in i thought because i thought okay maybe there's something in front of him but no it was a completely empty road it's just a dick in a van anyway as i was saying before another knob end got in front of me i want to get this out of my system before i get to work and have to deal with the uh, bullshit of work Feeling better. Starting to calm down. And relax. Now I've got some woman playing with her hair rather than overtaking. Sitting alongside a car, playing with her hair. Is it me or is the world getting fuller? Fuller, even more full of women who do not concentrate whilst they're driving they're just too busy concentrating on their hair sitting in the outside lane overtaking nothing getting everybody's way because they can't make their mind up what they're gonna have for tea tonight and they say women can multitask absolute bollocks I'm sorry women cannot multitask my wife can't even have a phone call and walk at the same time. If I'm walking through town with my wife and she has a phone call, I could walk off the end of the pier and she wouldn't notice. Oh dear. As I pulled up behind this car, I've realised it's a man! <laughs> oh dear. Well, I apologise to all the women out there. Although I do stand by my previous statement. It happens a lot but this one happens to be a man playing with his hair he's got a big pile of fuzzy hair on his head concentrating on his hair rather than driving oh dear 
that's not something I have to worry about. All I have to worry about is uh, driving, because my hair takes care of itself, as you can see. Right, if I go down here, are you going to try and pull in front of me? No, you're not. Because <laughs> you're too busy playing with your hair, mate. RX-7 convertible up there as well. Don't see many of them around here anymore. Anymore? Anymore. It's too early in the morning, can't get my words out. <laughs>